Okay, so hello and welcome everyone to our eighth uh, Berlin Flink meetup. Uh, we are starting with a community update today, as always, and then uh, two talks are going to follow it up. Uh, one from Mickey Brown, uh, a bit more theoretical approach of how to transition uh, standard. Uh, a standard uh, mindset of, of uh, data applications to a data flow system and then Till Rohrman is going to show us uh, how you can integrate Zeppelin with Apache Flink. So I see a lot of new faces and that's very delighting. So let's give you a little bit of intro of Flink. What is Flink? Flink is a distributed solution for unifying both batch and stream processing. So no matter whether your data already sits in your file system or is just flowing in in a message queue, you will be able to process it. So how does it look like as a stack? It has a common distributed runtime, this so-called streaming data flow that Mikio is going to refer to when he compares how to transition your mindset into a system like this. And on top of it, you have a data setting uh, API for batch processing and the data stream API for stream processing. Of course, on top of these APIs, you can build a lot of libraries and actually and connectors to other Apache systems, just the one that Till is going to show you with Zeppelin. So what does it mean when it comes to use cases? When it comes to use cases, practically if you build a system like this, it gives you the, uh, the capability to do real-time streaming topologies, do machine learning, graph processing, or standard batch computation in the very same system, in the very same API. That's practically the goal of playing. So what has happened in the last months? What, what are the main points that we have to be really proud of and how has the community progressed? One of the big things that I would like to show you and the guys who were there representing Flink were really hyped that uh, this thing is really happening was the Hadoop Summit San Jose and the uh, attention that Flink is receiving there. Then uh, we ha finally have the release vote passed for release 09, which is a massive release with a lot of commits and a lot of new features. Uh, we added two committers. One of them is actually sitting here in the audience, but I'm going to introduce them shortly. <laughs> And then there were questions about Fling that, okay, this is a really nice system, but do you actually have in production use cases of it? So uh, Data Artisans has pushed out a blog post about, um, co-published co a blog post with one of the big French telecoms where they are use casing their uh, system and how they use Fling. There were also two hands-on workshops here in Berlin with uh, huge attendance and there is still need for more. And there were other conferences and meetups that I would like to give an expert of in this little time that I have. So, Heart of Summit San Jose. Flink had two talks, one with Robert and another one with Costas. And uh, actually it was really nice to see. Robert uh, wrote us a couple of emails to keep, keep us updated how actually things are going in the US and how people out there are actually perceiving things. And I would like to give you one short tweet about this. Marvin uh, Adrian, who is a Gartner analyst and has more than 20,000 followers on Twitter, says this, full of flink. That's how he summarizes uh, Hadoop Summit San Jose. So that's, that's how people were feeling about it. On top of the two talks that were the well, official Flink talks, other talks were mentioning Flink as well. You name it, whether it was a DAC talk, how to do um, computation on DAGs, or just comparing it to other systems. Well, let's get to the release 09. What does it deliver for you? Well, actually, it's uh, around four months of work of the community, and the community is getting larger and larger. Uh, just on Git, GitHub, we have around, uh, actually we are passing the 100 contributor mark on GitHub these days. Uh, but uh, we, if you don't have uh, the dead duplication that Git, uh, GitHub has, we actually have even a bit more than that. 
the release delivers um, more than 1,200 comets, which is huge compared to the previous releases. And I also gave you a, a highlight of the features that it releases. Uh, it's somewhat similar to the uh, 09 milestone release, but the features are more refined. And we are going to publish uh, a release notice uh, which goes into details if you would like to check out one of the new features. So, we can also welcome two new committers. Andra Lungu is uh, sitting her in, uh, here in the audience. She is one of the uh, main contributors behind Jolly. And uh, we added uh, also Chivan Park as a committer who is uh, a committer from, uh, from Asia. So, Plink is getting geographically distributed. And very welcome the new committees. So let's speak a little bit about the blog post with uh, Buick Telecom. So you can find uh, this blog post in the link that I uh, put in the slide. And practically what, the, uh, what it describes is a full end-to-end -end streaming pipeline that Buick has. So they uh, have a lot of sensors uh, in the telecom network. They uh, gather that data and ingest it into Kafka and then do the processing in Fling. And from uh, there, from Fling, they uh, write it to a number of other applications downstream. So that's basically how Fling integrates into their uh, architecture of big data. So check it out. It's, it's a really exciting blog post on how to integrate and, and build an end-to-end -end pipeline. Uh, Flink also has seen two uh, big workshops here in Berlin. One of them was held at the uh, Google office, the other one was held at the Zalando office. Uh, Fabian, Ayosha and Max uh, were hosting those along with Evelyn. And uh, there is just need for more and more training. People are, uh, would like to know more and more about Flink and, and start using it. So, but uh, how much has changed in the last months? You could say that, okay, this was the last month of a release, so obviously we were testing a lot, the guys were traveling a lot to the US to get the word out about Flink. Uh, what has happened recently? Actually, if you look at the, the comments, we can also say that this last month was productive as well, just the others, and uh, Flink is not slowing down in terms of contributions. There were other conferences uh, besides the uh, Hadoop Summit. Uh, for example, uh, the Berlin Buzzwords conference, where uh, there were also two Flink talks by Stefan and Till. And there was also a Budapest Data Forum, which is one of the bigger uh, big data uh, conferences in Hungary, that also had two Flink uh, related talks. And as people are starting to know more and more about Flink, uh, there are meetups popping up everywhere uh, about Flink. So we already announced the Stockholm meetup here. Actually, now we have two more uh, meetups in the US, uh, one in Chicago and another one, uh, the uh, San Francisco Spark and Friends meetup, uh, as well as the uh, Bay Area meetup where uh, Stefan presented uh, a week ago. At the, at the same time, the, the Hadoop Summit San Jose triggered a lot of attention, and you can also see that in the media. Uh, there were a lot of nice uh, press releases covering Flink. I also picked one on these. Uh, just uh, the end of uh, last week, beginning of this week, Datanami published an article about the top big data projects to watch out for, and they named Flink the second one. Actually, Zeppelin is the first one, so you can really watch out for uh, Teal's talk because he is doing Zeppelin with Flink. Uh, so that's something to watch out for, according to that Tanami then. And uh, last but not least, I would like to uh, mention that uh, Flink is going to have its uh, first full conference uh, this October here in Berlin, and the call for papers is open. Uh, with that, I would like to pass uh, the stage over to Mikio on uh, his talk. Thank you.